Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today we will be talking about a little difficult topic called standard deviation of continuous series. But nothing to fear, I am here. I will tell you how to do it in just 6 easy steps. So let's start. Here weights of some students are given denoted by x and number of students having the same weight are given denoted by f also called frequency. That means 5 numbers of students having weight in between 60 to 62 and 18 numbers of students having the weight in between 63 to 65 and so on. It's called continuous series because the first number is ending in 62 and next number is starting from 63. Similarly, second number is ending in 65 and third number is starting from 66 and so on. So let's proceed to our solution. Step 1. Arrange the x values in increasing order and write the corresponding f or frequency values next to it. x values are arranged in increasing order and corresponding f values are written to it. Step 2. Find out the mid value for each x value pair. It's called value pair by summing both the numbers divided by 2. So our first mid value is 62 plus 60 divided by 2 which is 61. Similarly, the next mid value is 63 plus 65 divided by 2 is 64 and so on. Step 3. Find assume mean or A by taking middle value of mid value column for odd numbers of elements. Here odd numbers elements that means here 5 elements are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we will take the middle value as our assume mean. In case of even numbers of elements say here is another element of 80 then we would have taken the average of middle two elements. In that case our a becomes 68.5. Next, find out the interval gap or h by subtracting the first number from the second number of any x value pair. That means 66 subtracted from 68 which is 2. Just subtract the first number from second number of any x value pair. So our h is 2. Next, construct the table. This is our new x column. We won't consider this from now on. So d equals to x minus a divided by h. So d becomes x is 61, so 61 minus a is 67, 67, so 61 minus 67 which is minus 6 divided by 2 which is minus 3. Similarly for this value 64 minus 67 divided by 2 which is 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. Construct the d column similarly. Next is fd or f into d. So 5 into minus 3 is minus 15. 18 into minus 1.5 is 27 and so on. Next, f into d square. So d square is 9 and f into 9, sorry, 5 into 9 is 45. Similarly, 1 minus 1.5 whole square is 2.25 and 18 into 2.25 is 40.5 and so on. Next, find out the sum of f which is summation of all f values which is 100. Take summation of all fd values, this is the summation symbol which is 22.5, take summation of all fd whole square values which is 218.25. Step 5, find out the standard deviation by using the following formula, root over summation of fd square divided by summation f minus whole square of sum fd of sum f. So our Sum of fd square is 218.25 divided by sum of f is 100 minus whole square of sum of fd which is 22.5 divided by sum of f which is 100. So that becomes on your Casio FX 9 on ES calculator root button fraction button 218.25 divided by 100 minus first bracket fraction 22.5 by 100 bracket close whole square and press the equals to button press the s to d button so that becomes 1.46 1.46 and step 6 find out the corrected sd value by sd into h which is 1.46 into h or 2 equals to 2.92 which is our answer so friends this was my tutorial how was the video let me know in the comments below and if you like the video Please like it using the thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. By subscribing, you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. Your love and appreciation really encourages me to find out new tips and tricks every day. 
and make videos on that. I have uploaded many other videos on statistics, operation research, numerical analysis, computer science and technology and a complete series of tutorials on how to use your scientific calculators Casio FX 99 ES and FX 82 MS calculators for better mark scoring in exams. So if you want to watch any of my previous videos and my upcoming future videos, please visit my YouTube channel. The link is given in the video description below. Also embedded in this video. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video and stay connected.